Alright everyone, so welcome to part 4 of the Duck Hunt Guide. So, um, now we're going to be going over the gunmen. Uh, what to know about gunmen is that there are 5 gunmen. Uh, they all shoot at different times. They all do different amounts of damage. Um, not only that, but they also shoot at different lengths. Uh, different heights. You can actually have gunmen shoot over opponents. Um, and they also do different amounts of damage and hit stun. So, obviously, pretty different. They also have different angles. Um, what's important to know is that the way that gunmen work is um, there's five of them and they will all rotate in a random order once and then after you have encountered all five in the rotation then the rotation starts again and you will get um, the same five in a different random order so that's how gunmen work on their spawns um, in terms of what gunmen can do for you um, one of the things that they can do is that gunmen work as projectile shields um, and an important thing to know is they also have health too, so let's say we scale Mario's fireballs a bit. We can have the gunmen eat a lot more fireballs because um, we've scaled Mario's fireballs. So gunmen have health, which is also important to know. Um, something that can work against you when it comes to gunmen is uh, gunmen can also greatly extend hitboxes. So. So let's say I put this around here. So in a range like this, Mario Fireball should not be able to hit me. Oh. But uh gunmen can extend hit her boxes and gunmen can um also uh extend the duration of hit boxes so you don't want to use gunmen when your opponent is throwing out strong attacks or else they might extend the, uh, the duration of the strong move and, be, and work against you and kill you a lot of the time. In terms of uh, the most important thing about gunmen is that by knowing the timing for all the gunmen and by knowing how to use them, you can pretty much combo gunmen into whatever you want. So here, what I'm doing is I'm doing a forward, oh whoops. So one of the things that you can do with gunmen is, let's say, I do a uh, down tilt, gunmen assist with the down tilt and I combo off of it. There we can have uh, me and gunmen hit at the same time. There's lots of different things you can, oh, lots of different things you can do with gunmen if you coordinate the time together. And because gunmen shoot independently from Duck Hunt, this is one of the only ways Duck Hunt can become plus on block by having the gunman um, assist Duck Hunt by shooting on shield. So things like this are possible. But generally, um, because some of the gunmen shoot very quick, and because people don't like to be on the ground versus Duck Hunt anyway, it's pretty difficult to line it up. So that's why what I'm going to be talking about with gunmen today mostly is actually about um, something more advanced you can do with them, and that's uh, gunman grab breaking so i've already made a video on this but i'll go over it again what gunman grab breaking is is you're using your um gunman to break your own grab and combo off of it so these so things like doing grab breaks is possible with duck and kind of like an idea similar to uh hand offset you can do with ice climbers you're using um you're using the gunman to break your own grab so that you can combo off of the hit that you're doing. Obviously, because the gunman have different hit stun, some of these are better comboing than others. And because different gunmen shoot at different times, uh, some of these require uh, more waiting to be done. So just something that's important to keep in mind, you can use your own gunman to break your own grabs to combo off of it. One of the cooler ones is Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops on. So stuff like that. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. 
Oh, I'm used to get. Oh. Oh, missing the up smash there. Yeah, but just different kind of things you can do. Uh, generally, depending on the gunman you're getting, you can do things like grab breaks into. You can do like grab breaks into up smashes. You can do grab breaks into back airs. But, you can also do this with your grab brakes. You can convert grab brakes. Let's try to keep you back on the stop. So that's probably the most important thing you can do off of your gunman grab brakes, is the ability to have them break your grab and combo into a clay pigeon, which is really cool. And just something to keep in mind that when you um, when you grab some or when you spawn gunmen and you run up and you grab them, you want to let the gunman break your own grab because of the combo applications that can come off of it. Oh, whoops. So here we're gonna have the gunman break our own grab. And we're gonna combo off of that. So one of the important things to understand about when you're doing these grab breaks is um, your pummels. So, there's two ways that you can break grab. One is you get your grab broken while you're pummeling, and the other one is you get your grab broken um, when you're not doing anything. The reason why this is important is that if your grab is broken while you're pummeling, you get increased amount of uh, end lag compared to just having your grab broken when you're doing nothing. So the gunmen that shoot faster, you actually don't want to be pummeling after you grab them so that uh, you have as much time as possible to combo afterwards when your grab is broken. But on the sword shooting ones, you actually, actually, you actually want to get some pummels in for some extra damage. Uh, maybe this will work better. 50 for some of them. So this is just something to know. So here, I can do grab breaks into up airs. Here, I can do grab breaks into up airs. There's new grab breaks in the clay pigeon. Oh, grab the ledge. But uh, also important to keep in mind, Black Gunman is the hardest to combo off of because he sends people the parts away. And keep in mind, uh, obviously, this is all pretty tight. And lots of um, cool variations. Obviously, this is going to work better on different characters and things such as that. But this is something to keep in mind that when you get a gunman, you actually want to be going for a grab after it to get the most optimal combos. Uh, as of right now, um, Mario's not really the easiest character to get clay pigeon combos on. But you can still do cool stuff like that. Obviously, if this is being done on bigger characters, it's a lot easier to do. And the combo applications is also kind of in the situation where you can pretty much combo this into anything. But it all depends on the percents. Lower percents, you want to be going for uh, more things like grab rate, into up smashes. Oh. Grab breaks in the nares are okay. Grab breaks in the back airs. So, obviously, some really cool stuff you can do on it. Now, that's the basic idea of what you can do with grab breaking. And even though it's already an advanced concept, there's another thing we can do with it, and that is throw breaking. So what's important about throw breaking is that we're able to shift the position Mario is in when he's getting launched by the gunman as an attack is being broken. And what this lets us do is this lets us create kill confirms now that you can do with different gunmen. So if we push it to the, let's say the higher percents, one thing we, we can do is we can do gunman do a forward throw. Have the gunman break the forward throw and combo off of that. Oh, whoops. So let's try to get some good. 
pretty difficult to do, but let me try and get one. Yep, we can do stuff like that. Percent. So there's stuff to do like that. 90% will work better. So we can do stuff like that. Keep in mind that when you're doing grab breaks like this, the faster gunman that shoots is the hardest one to combo off of. So, ah, uh, there it almost kill confirms. There we go. Ah, uh, didn't kill confirm because it was right at the ledge. So this is something new discovered with Duck Hunt. Obviously there's a lot more that needs to be done to test it, uh, because you can even do stuff like gunman grab bullets, like you can even do crazy stuff like, as you can see, Mario's pretty hit for the, pretty hard to hit for these clay pitching combos, but yeah, there's stuff like this that can be done now that uh, this is known for Duck Hunt. So this is more of the advanced stuff you can do with grab breaks. Keep in mind this is all possible because you're shifting their uh, position when you're hitting them with your throw. Because if you compare it with the regular grab break, they're being grabbed from the front. Now they're being grabbed from behind you, or now they're being broken from behind you, which gives them less opportunity to uh, DI away from your combo. Oh, whoops. Now if you're wondering what all these failed attempts are, these are pretty much me mistiming the forward throw. I have to get it in the position where um, the opponent isn't invincible during the throw, so that they can have um, be hit by the gunman and break the combo. Oh, as you can see, orange gunman, definitely one of the harder ones to get off of all of this. Oh, whoops, wrong timing. So yeah, crazy stuff like that's possible now. And this is all possible, reminder, because you're timing your F throw correctly. So, something to learn, um, and something not actually that difficult to get in a real game, because the idea that you're going to be throwing a gun and running up and grabbing someone isn't actually that rare. And even then, when it's not going to be grab breaking, another important thing to do is at the lower percents, if you do this, just keep your gunman around to get extra damage from your throw. So as you can see, you can just have your gunman out, get extra damage from your throws. Oh, whoops. So you can do, even at the 0%, you can just have grab breaks to do extra damage off of throws. So that's pretty much it for gunmen. Um, uh, the idea that you can break your own grabs and your own throws with gunmen to combo off of it is a relatively new idea. It wasn't that easy to do in Smash 4. And next up, we'll be tying this all together in the last part where we talk about um, setups and neutral. Thank you.